They just, they took that money. That money is gone. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to help build your brand and grow your business online. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. So do you guys remember that one subscription box that we used to unbox on the channel that just kind of like disappeared overnight? You know how they like shut down their entire company, pretty much without warning, fired all their employees, filed bankruptcy, and like took a lot of people's money and stuff? Yeah, that one, remember that one? Well, just out of the pure curiosity, you know what they say about curiosity and that cat, how it didn't end too well? Well, I might've gone ahead in just a little bit and uh, resubscribed to said subscription. The scam box is back and today we're gonna to be unboxing another all true box. If you guys do not know what is going on with this scam box, uh, you can go ahead and check out the video that I made on it. There's a whole video, I got notes and everything. I take you through like all of the evidence, we talk about the bankruptcy, we talk about them just like taking their suppliers products, not paying them for them. So everything you need to know about this box is in that video. I will link that down below for you guys to check out. Today we are gonna be opening up this all true box and I resubscribed like honestly just out of pure curiosity. I wanted to see what the box is like after all true was acquired by another company so basically they went through like a bankruptcy liquidation kind of thing and another company purchased them. What I think is really fascinating about that is like not a single thing has changed with the box, the website, anything since they were acquired by a new company. The website looks exactly the same as it did the day that it shut down. The boxes look the same like I wonder if these are those like same boxes that were sitting in that LA parking lot like next to that warehouse just baking in the sun for a little while but they truly and honestly haven't changed a single thing since they acquired this company and some people think that that's like that's a bad sign. They think that maybe they're just trying to sell off all the product that they have left. I've seen some comments about this box saying that they're receiving repeat products. So I'm just kind of wondering if they're just trying to like get rid of whatever they have left over and like how long this box is actually going to stick around. Are they going to continue on with all true or are they just trying to like sell it all off? However, at this point, I have no idea if any of the suppliers that lost out on like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of goods to all true have ever been paid back or had their goods replaced by this company. I, I don't think they have. And because of the box all true is and like what their mission was, a lot of these businesses are like small businesses because they were trying to support like, you know, small businesses. But instead they ended up just taking a whole bunch of stuff and money from them. So I, I still feel like it's a little bit of a mess. I can't believe they didn't do any type of rebranding. They, they did nothing different, nothing different whatsoever. I don't know if they just didn't want to sink money into it. Maybe it's a venture that they don't plan on keeping around for a long time. And that is one of the reasons I did not do another annual subscription because with your annual subscription, you get all sorts of customization options, which are fantastic. I honestly did like a lot of the products that came in this box, but because I had an annual subscription, when they closed down without warning, I did not receive, I believe it was two of the boxes that I had already paid for. They just, they took that money. That money is gone. And that happened to basically everybody that had an annual subscription. Unless you subscribed like right before they shut down and you could do a chargeback to your bank, you, you're not getting that money back. You're most likely not getting that money back. So they just took that money and they ran. So this is just one of the seasonal subscriptions just in case something happens where they shut down again. It is being managed under another company and that is one of the only reasons that I feel comfortable resubscribing to this box. I just honestly was so curious. I was really curious and I wanted to give you guys an update and show you guys what they're sending out now. I'm assuming, it, according to the comments, it's just kind of like old stock stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and find out. Also, I'm fairly certain this is the winter box. You can kind of tell by all like the pine trees on it. I did receive this in March. It has been like a week or two because I've been working on opening up my new store, so I haven't had time to get to it. But I received this winter box in March. March. I mean, I personally, when I'm thinking of a winter box, I'm thinking in December, January, February, but March? Look at her all bundled up in her knitwear. It's March. I understand that March many places are still very cold. It's still getting snow, but like it, this is currently spring. It's March 20th is spring. This is March the end. So why I just received a winter box, I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and finally get on into this. It's a long pink tube. The very first item we have in here is from Brand With Heart. This is the OMG Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Blend. If we do receive hair stuff in boxes like shampoos and conditioners, I prefer something like a leave-in conditioning treatment versus like, you know, shampoo and conditioner you wash out in the shower. Unfortunately, like my hair was doing actually pretty good there on the ends for a minute and now it's looking like extra crispy. And I think somebody said that the Tangle Teaser actually kind of like breaks off your hair a little bit. And that was like my favorite brush. I used it every single day. I would use it before I got into the shower. I would use it immediately after I got out of the shower. I would use it while I was drying my hair. So uh, now I'm a little bit concerned that my Tangle Teaser, my favorite brush, is just kind of like breaking off my little fragile ends here. So I have gone to Amazon and I have purchased three different brushes and I'm going to try all of those out. But something like this might be helpful to kind of like recover these crispy ends. And it honestly might not be the Tangle 
tweezers full up because like if you look at my hair like too hard, if your eyeballs are like making too much contact with my hair, it's either gonna fall out of my head or break off. So maybe it's just the nature of my, you know, cotton candy hair. All right, next in here, we have something from Adesi. Oh, my contacts are fuzzing up. Uh oh, they are several months old. Maybe I should change these out. This is interesting though. It is an age-defying nail treatment. I don't think I've ever heard of like age-defying nail stuff. We get a whole lot of age-defying face stuff in subscription boxes. I would say like, one third of the products that we receive in subscription boxes is like, hey, make your wrinkles go away. But for nails, that's really interesting. This is the Power Couple Nail Care Duo, a nail growth optimizer and neural flower cuticle oil. My nails honestly are really not great. I feel like, you know, the hair in the nail situation probably goes hand in hand. I have very, very thin, flexible nails. Like, can you see like that thing? Look how much it bends. They will grow long, like weirdly long for how thin they are, but they're just so like bendy. If I put on nail polish, or anything. They always crack around the edges because my nails bend. I mean, I do have some nail wrinkles. Do you guys have nail wrinkles? A little ridges in your nails? So maybe the age-defying stuff will like help smooth out my nails a little bit. It does say that it's supposed to strengthen the nails, which is very good. Promotes healthy nail growth. Restores a healthy balance to stressed nails. I know like the rest of me is stressed, so I'm sure my fingernails are probably stressed too. While soothing, nourishing, and hydrating dry cracked cuticles. So you know, all that, I probably got all that. My cuticles are really bad. Oh my God, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Wow, like the more I examine my nails, I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is rough. Fix me. Oh, it smells kind of good. I like that. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but it smells kind of good. It's a little bit citrusy. Dag nabbit. <laughs> Dag nabbit. The next thing we have in here is a pair of, they're honestly pretty cute. We have a pair of little earrings. They're just a pair of small gold hoops with a pearl hanging from them, which I personally think are cute. I really do. However, unfortunately, uh, these ear holes don't work anymore. No, they do not work anymore. Uh, I have not worn earrings. I can't remember the last time I wore a pair of earrings. I have the big, look how big my ear flaps are. So my ear holes have been grown up for years. Of course you can still fill them there. This one, oh my gosh, you almost can't feel it there. They have been closed for a long time. You know, probably a couple of years ago, I could like shove something through there if I really, really wanted to wear earrings. But I just, I never wear earrings. I barely wear jewelry. I have like my engagement ring, my grandma's ring, and then I do, oh wait, engagement ring, my grandma's ring. That's about all the jewelry I wear. I never wear earrings. So unfortunately I will not be able to shove these in my non-existent ear holes. And I'm just far too chicken to go get like my ears re-pierced. I did it when I was seven. Seven-year-old me did it, but like almost 31-year-old me is like, mm, that's okay, I don't want that's okay. <laughs> Any unnecessary like needle poking, I'm, I'm good, I'm really good. There they are without the plastic on them. My lighting, man, this ring light is just unbearably bright. Maybe I could turn down the actual brightness. Oh, that's the wrong way. Here's a bit of a better look at the earrings. They are really cute. They also are made with recycled acrylic, so that is good. They are nickel-free and surgical steel. It does say on here, like, you're supposed to avoid, like, water, sweat, lotion, perfume, just basically everything. Anything that could potentially be a liquid, don't get it near your ears. But I like them. I just, unfortunately, will not be able to wear them, so that's a little sad. If I was able to subscribe to the annual subscription with confidence, um, then I'm sure I would have been able to select something else. But the thing is, I cannot subscribe to the annual subscription with confidence that this is not gonna go under again. Before we move on, I would love to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Squarespace. I have been working with and using Squarespace for well over a year now, and it has been all around amazing. They're absolutely one of my favorite sponsors, and I just wanted to thank them so much for continuing to support the channel. But apart from being just great to work with, as a business owner, Squarespace has been so helpful. My business is expanding. I'm opening up a second store, and we really wanna increase our online presence, and Squarespace is gonna be absolutely necessary for that. Squarespace can help anyone build their brand and grow their business online. Whether you're a business owner who wants to start selling online, an artist who wants to show off their craft, or a blogger who strives to inspire people. Squarespace has something for everyone. They offer customizable galleries where you can display images and videos in unique ways and really make your site your own. They offer blogging and commenting features that allow you to create a community on your Squarespace site. Their system supports threaded comments, replies, and likes, along with the capability to categorize, share, and schedule your posts. Plus, Squarespace keeps you fully connected to all of your social medias by displaying posts from your social media profiles directly on your website so your followers can see it and share it too. So whatever it is that you're passionate about, Squarespace has all the tools you need to build a brand, grow your business, and pursue your passion. So head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Alexander Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of website or domain. And again, just thank you so very much to Squarespace for continuing to support the channel.
All right, next in here, I'm seeing this, whatever it is. Did I pick anything in this? I'm not honestly sure if I did. You get to make any choices if you don't choose the annual subscription. That's a little silly, I think. And the next item we have in here is from Third Love. Oh, it's a robe. So you just have like a silky little black short robe. I mean, these are always nice to have like coming out of the shower, that kind of thing, getting ready. Um, They look a lot like the robes that my bridesmaids wore for like you know, bridesmaids activities. And by saying that, like I'm also saying that they they look and feel a lot like the robes that I bought on Amazon for just like a few bucks. Um, it does feel maybe a little bit thicker, a little bit more luxurious, but it definitely is a 100% polyester robe. So it's a little bit on like the plasticky feeling side. Definitely wouldn't be something that's like nice and breathable. Honestly, I'm kind of like picturing getting out of the shower being like hot and steamy and putting on like a polyester robe. I feel like that might be a little toasty. A little saran wrappy, you know, holding in all the, the juices and the moisture. But I mean, it's cute. It's fine. I guess it is a, it doesn't say what size it is. Okay, so this is a one size robe. I wish that they had different size options because I feel like, you know, not one size is gonna fit everybody, especially since it is so short. Like if you're taller or you like carry more weight like in your chest or your shoulders or something, I feel like this is gonna be very, very short. But uh, yeah, we just have a silky little black robe. Do I own these? Are they actually reusing product? I swear to y'all, I own these. <laughs> so our next item is this little set of measuring spoons. We have one wood one, and then we have some silicone spoons, and I, I really think I own these. I really think that I probably received these in all true from days past, and I think I own these. The reason I'm saying I think and not that I know is one, I, I have a very bad memory, and two, um, I think I can only find this one. I don't know what happened to these guys, but I'm pretty sure I have this like tablespoon wooden measuring thing. And I'm fairly certain it came with uh, some silicone ones as well. So I do think I own this. I probably did receive it in all true and that means they might be recycling old products. These are supposed to be eco-conscious kitchenware. They're non-stick and heat resistant up to 482 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know about y'all, but I personally have never measured out anything near that temperature before. Typically my measuring spoons are used for like cabinet temperature vanilla. So I guess, I don't know, in case you accidentally throw this into the oven while you're baking up some like chocolate chip cookies at 350, it's gonna be fine. But also, you're not supposed to put this wooden spoon in the dishwasher, and I'll tell you something. If this is, in fact, the same exact wooden spoon that I have in my kitchen, which I'm fairly certain it is, like 99% positive it is, then this has been through the dishwasher many times. If it is a dish or something dish adjacent in my kitchen, it's going in the dishwasher. And if it doesn't make it through the dishwasher, that's just survival of the fittest. You know, like the, the weak things are weeding themselves out. Okay, okay, so we only have one thing left in here and like the little like memory like fibers in my brain are just like shooting off right now saying, hey, this is a thing that looks familiar. So I'm thinking we might have a second repeat product from old boxes and if that is the case, then maybe all the comments I was seeing on Reddit and things are true and they're just trying to get rid of old stock and again, if that is the case, then I really don't know what the future holds for all true and I feel like it might fold again because they have really put in almost 0% effort or honestly 0% effort into like trying to remove revive this box. They basically just picked up wherever the original company left off and I just don't know how well that it's going to work out for them. Like if they're not ordering more stock and things and they're just reusing old stock like that just it just doesn't seem like this is going to go in a good direction. So the next item we have in here is from Pepper and Vit Inver. This is a set of three nesting bowls and I'm interested in seeing what they look like because they look so familiar. Now I don't know. <laughs> No, I don't know. I just went on that whole spiel about them reusing products and now I'm not 100% sure if I have received these before or not. I'm gonna have to go back through my Ultra boxes and see. Because they do look familiar, especially this packaging, like the nesting bowls. I feel like I have received nesting bowls from them before, but maybe they were like a different pattern or something. Or maybe they were this one and I just have 0% memory. So these are the bowls. We have three of them. <laughs> I attacked my face. Okay, so these are the bowls. They are cute. They just look like they've been like hand painted or something on the inside. They look kind of like watercolory. So we have a blue one. We have a another blue one that's just kind of lighter and then kind of a pale green. They're maybe not my personal style. They really don't match like the colors in my kitchen or anything. But I mean, they're cute. They're fine. They are microwave and dishwasher safe, which is very important as we've discussed. You know, they'll survive the, the gauntlet of the kitchen. And the back of the box also says this product supports the Malala Fund, a nonprofit that sends girls to school. So that's really nice. And that is one of the things I really liked about Altru in the beginning is like everything has like a mission to it. So everything is either like from a small business or it's a 
supports a nonprofit or it goes towards something and I, I like that. I personally thought that added value to the box. You're supporting artists, small businesses, creators. Part of the proceeds of some of these items are going to like different charities and nonprofits and to me that made the box more worth it. You know this box is very reminiscent of something like a Stitch Fix but that added layer of uplifting like small businesses and charities and nonprofits. I thought that just like it, it really added something to the box for me. So, so I was really sad to see like when they closed down that they just treated everybody so poorly. You know it was taking products like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of products from all these small businesses and just like laying off all their employees with like 24 hour notice like it was just it was handled very poorly very very poorly i wouldn't want to support that company again and i'm not really sure if i want to support this one either um i do feel like they are giving us products that we have seen before in these boxes i'm not sure if they did anything in the way of trying to reimburse or give back the product to like vendors and suppliers i don't know legally if that's something that basically they're not required to do hopefully those companies were taken care of by some other matter some other maybe legal matter but um i just really wouldn't want to support the company that did that to those small businesses that they were trying to support in the first place but seeing the stuff inside of this box like i think these are fine items these truly are fine items i don't think they're too different than what we would have seen before from all true i think that might be pretty much exactly the same as what we might have seen from all true before and some of these items might definitely be repeat items but i personally didn't receive them in a previous box because i did have choice of customization options so you definitely could be seeing items from like months or years past i'm gonna flip through really fast here and look to see if we have any prices or anything. Oh man, you got like blankets and wood cutting boards and all sorts of stuff in here that I didn't get to choose from because I'm not an annual member. Well, dang nabbit. I definitely would have picked me that soft fuzzy blanket over there. I love me a soft fuzzy blanket and I have like a thousand of them, but you can never have too many. Uh, but that being said, these bowls were $36. Apparently there's a velvet clutch that you could get for $110. I feel fairly confident that I probably received like the cheapest of the items from every category because I'm not an annual member and I couldn't choose for myself. Okay, this second choice here, that yoga mat, that is currently rolled up right over there. Hasn't moved since I unboxed it from All True when I got it however long ago. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure we are definitely seeing some repeat products. Also those bowls, very familiar. Oh my goodness, that satin robe is $68. That's definitely a little bit more expensive than the ones we bought on Amazon. <laughs> then we have the measuring spoons. They are $15. The leave-in conditioner is $22. And oh, look at that, that little striped head pal there. Yeah, I use that pretty much every single day to put my hair up. More and more repeat products. The earrings are 50 bucks. That's kind of expensive expensive and then we have the nail duo which is 36 and then at the end of the magazine there's just some more information i do honestly really like this magazine i think this is cute however it is like you know probably a lot of use of paper and money but i do like how everything is laid out and has like a picture with it and a price so i mean it is a cute magazine which is probably maybe a little bit on the wasteful side it is pretty thick okay so all that added up together is 227 dollars am i missing something okay so i just did the math again and it came up to 227 dollars again but they say with with every single box you're supposed to get a minimum of $250 in value so like where's the rest of it that's interesting i miss i mean it's not like a lot off the 250 dollars minimum but you know they say like that's the lowest you can go is 250 so it's 250 plus and uh, for a $60 box, this is $59.99. I'm not sure if they're shipping with that. Oh, and that's the increased cost. It used to not be that much. It went up by $5. $60 bucks with a $227 value in return, like isn't honestly that great for a subscription box. That, that seems good. It does seem good, but it's truly not for like a subscription box. Truly and honestly, for a $60 subscription, we should definitely be seeing that $250, definitely be hitting it, and probably even hitting like a $300 mark, especially since they raised the price of $5 and they're reusing products that they already have in stock. I don't know, you guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you think this box is worth resubscribing to? Do you trust it now that it's under another company? Or do you think they might go out of business again because they're reusing products and raising prices? I don't know. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I love reading and responding to them. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so very much much watching please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind it mean the absolute world to me i just hope you guys have a lovely wonderful fantastic day and i'll see you all next time bye